Samsung Galaxy J7 review. I brought the Samsung Galaxy J7 around March of 2017 from T-Mobile. This is the only Galaxy I'm willing to buy. Every year, Samsung releases five phones, the Galaxy, the Galaxy Edge, the Note, the Prime, and the low-budget Galaxy. I discovered this when the Galaxy 6 came out. Samsung released all the high-priced phones, then released Galaxy for the lower-class people, while Apple only released the iPhone, either you can or can't afford it. One day, I was comparing the Galaxy 6 to the other two Samsung phones that Samsung had out and found out that the Samsung phone that costs a little over $300 is the same as the Samsung Galaxy. I don't get new phone until Samsung released the cheap version of the Galaxy. That does everything the regular Samsung Galaxy does, just a cheaper price. Me personally, I don't see any reason to walk around with a phone that costs over $300. Then when the upgraded version comes out, the next year the old version would be worth $50, 50 to $60 when you pay eight to 900 for the phone. That don't sound like a good bargain to me. The sad thing, about it is all carriers don't buy back phones. The ones that do, they not going to deduct the difference from the phone you about to purchase. They going to give you that money as credit towards your next bill. T-Mobile got me with that once. That is when I said never again. As you can see, I cracked my screen. I can't remember how that happened. I do know I had this phone six months before I cracked the screen. That make the same don't make the same mistake I keep making when the salesperson take out take your device out the box and there's a screensaver on your phone. Tell them to not remove the screensaver. I was looking at phone case while this was going on, but notice the screensaver was on the counter. Samsung phones come with free screensaver without anything on it. Like most devices have pictures and writing all over the screensaver. Screensaver costs at least thirty dollars for any device. While Samsung give you one for free, I don't know about every Samsung device, but the cheap version of the Galaxy comes with free screensaver. I noticed that since the Galaxy sits for future reference, if you buy the cheap Galaxy, tell the salesperson to not remove the screensaver. If they do, refuse to pay for the phone. This device was good to me until I had four updates within two weeks. Each update fixed some issues and brought new issues to my device. That been an issue ever since. Unless Samsung doing what Apple did, put slow batteries in old phone Apple phones, now Apple customers had to pay $30 for a faster battery because Apple messed up. I believe Android do the same. The last update brought problems to my J7 that I never had. Upload videos to YouTube on Hotspot take over an hour to upload. Sharing videos through Bluetooth from device to device take longer than usual. The J7 frees up a lot since my last update. Before the update, I could turn my music up while the music would continue to play. Now that as I turn the volume up on music, the music pauses itself. I believe every phone update is designed to slow up customers' devices. That way, when the upgrade version customers of customers' phones come out, people will run to purchase the new device. That is why I will never pay more than $320 for a phone. I can't see myself paying eight to nine hundred for a phone. Then six months later, all these problems start happening, just to get me to purchase another phone. My mind is made. I will decline every system update from now on. I rather take my chances with keeping my phone the way I bought it. I have to admit, I've been enjoying the split screen function. It keeps me from doing a dozen screen size daily. Now I can listen to music on YouTube and be on Facebook at the same time. The split screen feature still needs improvement. Every app can't be used in split screen mode. All the other features of Samsung J7 don't interest me. Another thing I noticed before the updates, when I go over my data limit, I didn't see a difference until the four, four updates in two weeks took place. Every blue moon, my phone don't charge over 80%. When I reach out to customer service, they give me the same troubleshooting options for every problem. I make them try every option until my phone is working properly. I also noticed under mobile network selecting 4G data is an option. The only place my phone say 4G is on my signal. I don't know if that is a sign, but I think it is. I believe we're paying for 3G speeds, but being told we're getting 4G speeds. Think about it. Why? 
why 5G haven't came out yet and why the only place my device say anything about 4G is where my signal logo is on the front of the screen. I also noticed on this phone you don't have to download Clean Master app. It is now in the settings for you to use instead of being in the app. Here is the start of March, the month I brought this device last year. I noticed the cheap version of the Galaxy 8 never was released. Guess Samsung are trying to force customers into buying Galaxy phones. I am going to hold out for another year just to be sure before I make final decision. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel to help me build a bigger fan base.